How would you like to take a tangible shift forward towards the direction of the goals that you have set for yourself, the dreams, no matter how big they are, that still live in your heart? How would you like to take a major step forward inside of the next 24 hours? Because folks, there's a way that you can do it. There's a way that you can connect to that sacred space on the inside of you that will immediately show you the pathway forward, that will shine a light on the conversations you need to have, the connections that you need to make, the decisions that are both right and wrong. If you can connect in the way that I'm going to show you in this video, well, my friend, you will create a major breakthrough in your life. You will finally feel as though you are heading towards your dreams and they are chasing you down too. And we're starting right now. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, welcome to Elevate for a New Day. My name is Ben and it's always a blessing to spend this time with you. I'm so humbled by the kindness of you good folks who reach out in the comments section, who leave the thumbs up, who subscribe and join the family, who send me messages. Thank you for you. Thank you for your energy and for sharing your love. Make sure you're subscribed. I really hope that you enjoy your time here because today, today is all about something that you can do that will effect change in the course of your life. It will affect change in the direction that you are heading and it will affect change in your ability to manifest your dreams. Your greatest desires, the goals that have escaped you so far. <coughs> Pardon me, that dream in your heart, it's there for you to manifest, folks. It's not there by happenstance. If you can dream it, you are supposed to live in the fullness of that. So how come so many of us we get bogged down in the mundane going through of life. We get bogged down by the hurt, the pain, the cruel words. Our vibration, our energy is affected. We spin around and around the same mountains of dysfunction. And things never ever seem to get better. Ladies and gentlemen, today is your day to have your breakthrough. Today is your day to take a step forward and finally reassume your position as the powerful creator that you are. You see, it's all about tuning in to your intuition. It's all about having a relationship with your intuitive thoughts, knowing the voice of them, knowing how to follow them, and knowing that when you do follow them, even when you don't know what the outcome will be, the outcome will always be of peace. It will always be of favor. You will always be in the right place at the right time. See, your intuition is your soul, your spirit, communicating to your human. Your intuition is the little voice on the inside that says, don't enter into that conversation. Don't enter into talking rumours about that person. Don't get frustrated and upset. Don't lose your cool just now. Remain calm. Don't say those words. Your intuition saves you from more than you could know and sets you up for more than you could know. But so many of us, we don't know how to hear our intuition. We have an intuitive thought and we immediately dismiss it. And this is where the problem lies. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can get this, if you can apply this to your walk, then you will manifest your dreams and you will create the breakthrough that starts that ball rolling inside of the next 24 hours. You see, here is the deal. You might have heard me say this recently, but I'm going to stay on this train because it is powerful. You see, you don't experience reality. What you experience is what you think about your reality. You experience the version of reality that has attached to it all of the labels that you decide to call things. So you call something hurtful, therefore it is. You call something good fun, and therefore it is. You call something difficult, hard work, tiring, and therefore it is. 
You say, I really don't like this job. I'm stuck in a grind. I'm worn out. I'm exhausted. I need a holiday. And that is the reality that you experience. You say, I've just met this person and I've fallen madly in love with them. And that is the reality you experience. Do you remember the feeling of new love? When it's all puppy dog eyes and lovely dates and everyone's on their best behavior. You know, it's funny when people come to me for counseling and they say, I've just started dating this person. We're only a month or two in and I'm seeing these red flags. I'm seeing these behavioral things that don't line up. And I always tell them the same thing. You need to have ongoing and open communication, but you also need to understand that when you're dating someone, they are on their best behavior already. It doesn't get better than this. Don't start trying to change them just now because they are already doing all they can to impress you. They are already doing all they can to stay in the pocket of this thing. The behavior doesn't get better from here. In fact, it slips. And this is what people do in relationships. They go off on this tangent and they see these red flags. They feel these things that don't align with them. And they don't understand that when you are in a new relationship, you're on your best behavior. It doesn't get any better than this. In fact, it just slips and slides from there. And you see people come into these new relationships and they want to try and change one another already. No, folks. The power comes in accepting the responsibility as the creator that you are. This is where the breakthrough can come for you. Understand you don't experience the reality of that relationship. What you experience are all the labels that you plaster onto it, the overtones of feelings and emotions that you draw upon that picture. Therefore, when it comes to garnering intuitive thought, when it comes to blazing a trail and heading towards your manifestation, the way you can create a breakthrough is to simply switch your mindset and understand there are two conversations going on on the inside of us. You see, we all have a story. Each and every one of us, we have a story. And we identify with that story. We say, that's who we are. My name is Ben. I am a counsellor. I'm a coach. I host a YouTube channel. No, no, that's not who I am. That's what I do. Okay. So then we say, okay, I'm Ben. I'm 39 years old. No, that's your age. It's not who you are. Okay, I'm Ben. When I was a young fellow, I went through this. And as I grew, I went through, no, 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 that's not who you are. That's what you went through. Okay, I'm Ben. And for a job, I no, no, not for a job. Folks, we need to think about who we are detached from the stories we tell ourselves. This is where you create a major breakthrough. You've got to take the labels off. Hang with me. This is where it gets serious. We all identify with our story. We all have opportunities to be hurt and upset. That's why so many people identify as a victim. But if you identify as a victim, you give all of your power away. You say, it's up to that person to make me happy. It's up to that person to walk a fine line of balance so that I don't get offended. It's up to that person to love me, to fill my love tanks. No, folks. It's up for you, up to you, to fill your love tanks and to love out of the overflow of that. It's up to you to be so full of joy that it spills out and infects the world around you. It's up to you to decide not to take offense and to not be hurt at the careless words and actions of others. We have to take back our control, but the victim gives it all away. The victim says it's everybody else's responsibility to accommodate me. It's up to everybody else so that I don't get upset, I don't get hurt, I don't get offended, I don't feel ashamed, I can feel love. It's up to every external circumstance, situation, place, thing, person to move me forward. We give away our power. But we need to come back to a position of oneness and understand that we are not the thoughts that say it's up to them to make us happy. We are not the thoughts that say it's up to that person to not offend us. It's up to that person to love us. We need to come back to a position where we can say, I am not the reality that I experience. I am what I think about the reality that I experience. 
I am not the emotions I am experiencing. I am what I think about the emotions I am experiencing. I am not what I am feeling. I am experiencing what I think about what I am feeling. You might say to me, Ben, you are absolutely crazy. Are you bonkers? Folks, believe me, science shows it's true. We can measure the neural networks in the mind. We can see a thought. We can register it on an MRI scan. And the truth of the matter is, is that if you think you're a victim, you're a victim. The truth of the matter is, you can watch on TV images of children in third world nations, malnourished, malnutrition, kicking a can down the street and having a whale of a time. And on the same TV channel, you can watch children in the, in the developed world, surrounded by technology and things to occupy their time and day with, and yet they are bored and they're out committing crime and they're unhappy and they're in cycles of dysfunction. Why is that? It's the perspective you choose to view your reality through. It's what you identify as. We don't identify any more as the victim. You see, you are not your thoughts. You are the awareness of the thoughts. You are not your victim's story. You are the awareness that you, like everybody else, has a victim's story, but what you choose to do with that victim's story is up to you. You are not all the hurt and the heartache and the pain and the dysfunction of the stories that have surrounded your life. You are not those things. What you are is the awareness of them. So as the awareness of the hurt, as the awareness of the dysfunction, what do you choose today to do with that? Because it's what you do with that that dictates how far and how fast you move forward. You can break the cycles of dysfunction by saying, I no longer identify as that. I am the spirit who's having the experience. All of these things are experiences that my spirit is having. So I'm going to take the labels off. A roller coaster is great fun, it can be scary at the same time. Life is exactly the same. It's great fun, but it can be terrifying at the same time. It's an incredible adventure, but it can be so hurtful at the same time. Take the labels off. Don't identify with the stories anymore. As you lose the identification to the story and recognize what you truly are is the witness to the story. What you truly are is the awareness of what is going on and what has happened. You can then make a decision of what to do with that awareness. So will you allow it to serve you? Will you allow it to grow you and to move you forward and to teach you and to allow you to come up higher? Or will you use those stories to keep you in the victim mentality? To keep you going around the same mountains of dysfunction, locked in the same hurt, repeating the same cycles of heartbreak, having the same argument with your spouse, the same dysfunction at work, job after job, relationship after relationship, hurt after hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take back your authority as the creator that you are, if you de-identify with your story and re-identify as your true nature, the awareness to all that is going on, you can use that awareness to set yourself up for a breakthrough. You can use that awareness to begin tuning in to your intuitive thoughts. It is your intuition that leads you forward. The day you reconnect with your intuition and deconnect from the stories of the identity you have told yourself all of your life is the very same day you will create a major breakthrough and your life will never be the same. Do you believe it? Do you receive it? I hope that you do, folks. Believe me when I tell you that it's true. Now, before we finish up, a little bit of housekeeping. If you want to join me once a week for my coaching group, there's a link down below. You can come and be welcome to join me in that. Would you think about someone you can share this video with? Give it a thumbs up if it's blessed you, and let me know in the comments. I love talking with you good folks. But most importantly, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you come and join me tomorrow and make sure before you move on, you have a look at either of these two videos. They're going to join some dots for you, I know it. God bless you.